real quickly before we leave, I'm going to kindle this bonfire once. I hate running around with large amounts of souls, and I hate running around with large amounts of humanity. So here is Guinevere, the daughter of Lord Gwyn and a goddess of fire and fertility. Yay, we have the ability to teleport now. This makes getting around so much easier. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Queen, and inherit the fire of our world. Thou shalt end in this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. Undead sacrifices. So what she wants you to do is the same thing that Lord Gwyn did. As the Age of Fire was nearing the end, Lord Gwyn sacrificed his life to link, to create the bonfires and link them together, which, and I'm not sure of the details of how this works, but it prolonged the Age of Fire sort of artificially. Now when she talks about undead sacrifices you'll note that the bonfires are just a sword and a pile of bones. They're fueled by humanity and the, bonfi the fire keepers are all humans. So now you are running around collecting souls, collecting humanity, and they want you to sacrifice yourself, just like Lord Gwyn, to extend their reign. My personal outlook on this is that these dying gods are keeping their empire going by destroying humanity and keeping humanity from becoming the next great empire. So I kinda don't like them. But the entire point is moot because she is not actually here. Yeah, Guinevere actually decided that this whole thing was nuts, and she left. What this is right here is an illusion created by her brother, Gwendolyn. He is actually in another part of the city, hidden behind a false wall that you can only go through if you equip a certain ring. You can actually attack this uh, this image right here, if I fire an arrow, it kills her in like one hit and the illusion disappears and instead of this city being full of sunlight, it turns to darkness. But I am not going to do that just yet because it also has the unfortunate side effect of this bonfire going out which makes warping around more difficult. So we can go to the Firelink Shrine, the Sunlight Altar, 
which is an altar where you can join the covenant that uh, Solaire is in. Uh, An Orlando, this was the first bonfire with that uh, firekeeper and the cool brass looking armor. You can warp to the spider demon lady. And we can go to the undead parish. Where Andre the blacksmith is. And actually, I'm not sure why I went here. I was thinking I might have to upgrade something. Well. Oh, that's right. I wanted to get... The other blacksmiths can't turn the gargoyle's halberd into a gargoyle's halberd plus six. But... He does not have any large titanite. Neither do I. So, cannot. can't do anything about that. We can, however, go to the Firelink Shrine, where. King Seeker Framped is quite pleased with us getting the Lord Vessel. Oh. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gate, the old book. Is that your doing? Yes, it actually was me. Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, I thought this night of Catalina thanks you sincerely. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Yay, the miracle of the Mit Force. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> That's actually not a bad miracle. There are a lot of miracles better than it for purposes of combat, but it's a good basic starting spell. Speaking ah. of miracles. Oh, you. Have you seen my lady? Oh, blast, where might she be? And would she be safe? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So I don't buy it. Let's see. However, what I do buy are those. Oh, I should really get... No, that's right. So, the Thoralin Talisman... You see its magic adjust is 165, while the regular Talisman is 135. You'd think that the Thorland Talisman is better, but it's got a scaling of C instead of B. So by the time you get up to like 40 faith, it's uh, the regular Talisman is better. Which one is it that I have? Oh, I still have the Scythe equipped. We should fix that. I'm using the Canvas Talisman, which actually has better scaling than either of them. Hey, Snake Dude. Heavens, you have done it. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. Jeez, I hate this guy. <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now... Let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. This is weird.
Alright, is everyone thoroughly weirded out by the... This is the Firelink Chamber, for the successor of Lord Wind. Now, face the Lord Vessel on the altar. I swear it looks like his nose has bunny ears. Hey, wait, wait, wait. We move myself like that? It almost looks like I have bunny ears. I'd make a rabbit noise, but I don't know what noise rabbits make. Now how was I carrying that? I mean, that must weigh more than every item I have combined. So you're probably asking yourself, WTF man, what is going on? Well, you put down the Lord Vessel and it opens three doors. We haven't seen any of these doors yet because I know better than to just run around exploring. But uh... If you haven't played the game before, you probably ran into these doors in random places and thought, why is there a big yellow barrier? Why can I not go through? Those doors allow me to get to some bosses who have Lord Souls. And you collect all the Lord Souls and you put them in the Lord Vessel. Do I have one right now? No, I don't have one right now. So, our goal right now is to get Lord Souls, put them in that, which opens this door, locked by some contraption. And then in there is where we secede Lord Gwyn. That's where the game ends, right on the other side of this door. Hey buddy, can you take me back up? Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the four kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. Uh, this again. So we're basically gonna go kill a bunch of gods. Good times, good times. What the hell is up with your nose? Ears. Yeah, I don't know. How did you die? You know what I bet he did? I bet he accidentally attacked this guy. He's actually a pretty good swordsman. Alright, I think I'm going to make a cut here, and then maybe get some level ups? If I don't get level ups, what we'll do is go directly into getting one of the four souls.